Hi everyone, my name is Bernice Puy and welcome to another After School Tech Tip with the Tips team. Today I'm going to be showing you how to quickly integrate Google Drawings in your class with pre-made graphic organizers that students can fill in. This Google Workspace app is known as Google Drawings. To access Google Drawings, if you head into your drive, you can click on New. And if you go to More, you're going to find some more Google apps that you can utilize, one of them being Google Drawings. When you click on that, it's going to bring you to an area where you can easily create a drawing or an image using things like lines or shapes or text boxes or inserting of images. So as you can see here, I can click in, I can make a shape, and I can now drag and drop that shape around anywhere I want and I can even fill it in with a certain color. And I could put a text box into here and talk. You can see here that you can now create your own graphic organizer. However, there are also a bunch of pre-made graphic organizers that have been created by Eric Kurtz through controlaltachieve.com. He has gone through and you can see here and the link is down below in the descriptor. Um, but you'll see here that there's a bunch of different Google Drawings, and they're all linked in here for you to automatically already use with your students. So, for example, if I wanted to go in and use the main idea and detail um, graphic organizer, I can click on the Google Drawing link, and it's going to ask me to make a copy of my main ideas and details. I'm going to press make a copy and that is now my version that I can alter and customize however I see best fits for the students. This can be shared with students. You can assign this as a copy for the students in Google Classroom so that they can then make this their own. You can see here that with a text box, I can now write things down into the graphic organizer. And I can also drag and drop it around if I want to reorder some of my ideas or anything like that. I can even change the background color of one of these um, because, you know, maybe that makes things easier for me. And so the nice part about this is that Google Drawings is a really great way to brainstorm all your ideas, but you also can do this collaboratively. So you can see here through the share function, just like every other Google document, you can now add people and groups into this document or into this Google drawing, and you can now real time collaborate with other students. So if they're, for example, brainstorming an essay together, they could now work on the document at the exact same time. Another great feature of Google drawings is its ability to embed directly into a Google document. Meaning you can have students brainstorm in Google Drawing together, but then type their essay into Google Docs. And so you can see here, I have a Google document open. And what I can do is I can go to insert, drawing, and I can press from drive. So you would have seen this copy of main idea, and I'm gonna take that and I'm going to insert this into my Google document. I can link this to the source, which means that if you make any edits to the original Google drawing, it is going to then update on the Google document as long as you press update. So any changes made there is going to be reflected in the Google document um, and back and forth. So you can see here um, that it now says Google drawings. And of course, if we, um, you can kind of make this smaller you can um, resize this any which way you want and all of those different things. Again, if you go back into your copy of main ideas and drawings, you can now go and um, add some more details in. So for example, I might say embed into a Google document. And when you do this, if you go back into your Google document, you'll now see an update button. The update button will now update the information from that Google drawing and pull it into the Google document. So it just helps streamline the process so students can now use one document to see their brainstorming on the first page 
and then be able to work on their project or essay at the same time. This also goes for if students are collaborating while a student's writing on the essay, further down they can go up, press update, and now they have some more ideas that they can work with. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please reach out or head to tips.epsb.ca. Thank you so much.